Okay, this is just a quick show of what the car is kind of doing. I want to step on it. It's cold right now. I just started it. If you notice, notice how it kicked in. Everything's fine. Shifted perfectly. And uh, no lights on the dash right now. Give it a second here. And, uh, well, you see, you see how I got the lights on the dash all of a sudden? Blink, 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 blink. It's just... Okay, no problem, no slip there. And, uh, I'm gonna keep going here, because as soon as it warms up, then, uh, all of a sudden it won't go into gear, and if you step on the gas, it'll just wind and, and uh, not engage. And then you let off on the gas a little bit, and it'll catch, and, uh, it's all right. You know, so it acts like it's one of the solenoids, and the transmission is once it heats up, it's not providing enough pressure for the uh, for the, the uh, torque converter to uh, stop. Uh, let's see. Here. All right, I'm going to cancel or pause for just a second, and as soon as it starts acting up, I will start another video. All righty. All right, so here we are just a few minutes later, and I'm on uh, East Brainerd Road traveling uh, to work. And uh, so I'm behind this red car in front of me. And I'll, and I'll just, well, hold on here, there's a car turning in. All right, I'll just step on the gas a little bit to uh, kind of speed up. Uh, it took a second, it was, it did kind of catch there, but. I gotta wait till I uh, get to a little bit more open area. Maybe the stoplight will show you. Do, do, do. Okay, hold on for a second. out of gear and kind of revved up real high and then all of a sudden went back in the gear kind of a hard punch okay you see it right there again because I'm going up a little hill so anytime you get to a hill you've got to take your foot off the gas and, and uh, basically just barely feather it up the hill or else you'll you'll go out of gear About to turn on an interstate here, so that'll you see there's a hesitation. It took for a second to get into gear. And uh, second here I'll have it up to uh Okay there. Couldn't find it. Notice that you know, once I'm at a cruising speed, it's, it, it, it'll drive like this for indefinitely. As a matter of fact, since this car has had this problem, we have driven it to Florida down, and uh, the car has been driven back and forth to uh, Arizona. Um, in fact, my father in law has put almost 22,000 miles on this truck as it's running right now. Um, Obviously, this can't continue. <laughs> so, I just got to figure out, you know, what's causing this thing to uh, fall out of gear. And uh, as you can see, I'm cruising at about 60 right now. I'm gonna step on it just to kind of give you an idea. Okay, hesitated there. There's the shift. Kind of went to overdrive and kind of fell back out of overdrive. And then on top of this, of course, there seems to be a slight pull to the right. 
and then of course you got the three dash lights on as well. Um, all right, all right. I think that's a good example, and um, hope you guys can fix it for me. Thank you.